Welcome back. You're still tuned into Power Breakfast, and it's time to talk all about commodities now. A lot of updates in that space as well. Manisha Gupta is joining us with all the updates. Hey, Manisha. Good morning. Morning, Sanal. Thank you for that. I'll start with crude oil prices because we have seen further declines now. And then the two trading sessions in this week itself, we are 2% down. And this is ahead of the U.S. Fed meeting as well, where we have seen the U.S. dollar strengthen ahead of that. Also, when you look at the markets, the Russian holdings, or rather the loadings, are up 50% in the month of Jan on a month-on-month -month basis. So that tells you that there's enough availability in the global markets, even after all those sanctions that we've seen on Russia. The Chinese demand continues to support too. And the Israel do drone strike on Iran defense facility is something that the markets will continue to keep an eye on. In the meanwhile, we also have seen profit-taking continue in other energy markets. Coal prices now are trading at a six-month lows. We've seen prices fall below $300 a ton. The U.S. gas prices now are the lowest since April 2021. We've already seen the U.S. gas prices fall by 40% in this month alone, and they're down by 70% from the August highs. Some profit-taking is what we are seeing across board on metals as well. So the copper prices have come off its uh, seven-month highs. There is a decline that we've seen come in for aluminum, zinc. Even gold and silver prices are off their Jan 2023 highs. So I think until the U.S. Fed meeting is out of the way, it's going to be a choppy market. Oh, yes. So that's uh, the big queue that we are watching out for, right? Thank you, Manisha, for all those updates as far as the commodity space is concerned.